Welcome to another episode of Practical with Miss Selena. Today, we are going to do 2009 GCEO level practical. So are you ready? Let's start the preparation. Let's remove the clutter. The question says you are provided with a sample of solid X. This is sample solid X. So I'm going to put all my tests right in front of me. The volumes given below unless referring to drops of solution are approximate and should be estimated rather than measured. Using the smaller tip of a spatula, transfer two spatula tips full, about 0.5 gram of solid X into a large dry hot glass boiling tube. I have a spatula here. Two spatula full. Let me label this as part A. And I'm supposed to place about 3 cm cube full of lime water into the test tube and heat the solid carefully and strongly for several minutes. About 3 cm cube, let me measure. And this is my lime water. Calcium hydroxide. During the heating process, we draw several samples of gas from inside this test tube. So, using a teak pipette. And each time, bubble the gas from the teak pipette through the lime water. Record your observation. And let's go on. It says that a solid residue Y remains in the hard glass boiling tube. So, this will eventually become my Y. Let me label it Y. Suggest identities for the other products formed in this, this decomposition reaction. Allow the hard glass boiling tube to cool completely. While you are waiting, continue with, part, with test part B and C below. Adjust the Bunsen burner to give a blue flame. Moisture the end of the wooden spoon with water. I'm going to use the steel water here. Let me fill this with a little bit of water. Moisture it, let me put the split inside. And later on, I can just moisten the tip here with solid X. Place this end of split in the Bunsen burner flame. Record your observation. Using the smaller tip of a spatula, transfer a small amount of solid X into a test tube. And to this, add about 2 cm cube of hydrochloric acid. So let me use this. A spatula full. Two cm cube of HCl. Part C. HCl. Hydrochloric acids here. All right. The next part says that to the cold hard glass boiling tube from part A, add about 2 to 3 cm cube of distilled water. And using a stirring rod, stir the mixture until all the residue is dissolved. Now add more distilled water until the test tube is about 3 quarter full. Stir the mixture with stir, stirring rod and this will be solution 1. So this whole thing will become my solution 1. And then it move on to say using solution 1, perform the following test and record your observation to about 2 cm cube of Y. So I'm supposed to draw out 2 cm cube of Y and add another 2 cm cube of barium chloride and add hydrochloric acid dropwise until it's about 2 cm cube. So another 2 cm cube of HCl. So this is my part D, let me put here, barium chloride and HCl. Now according to my QA notes over here, when barium chloride is added, is you're actually testing on sulfate. Let's move on. So D part 2, D part 2 says, let me labor it, to about 2 cm cube of Y, add another 2 cm cube of copper sulfate solution. 
Shake the test tube thoroughly, then transfer the mixture into a boiling tube. Heat this boiling tube carefully until the mixture begins to boil. Continue gently heating the boiling mixture until no further changes is seen. So 2 cm cube of white, another 2 cm cube of solution of copper sulfate. Okay, the copper sulfate is here. And then I add another 2 cm cube of hydrochloric acid. So to another 2 cm cube of Y, I add another 2 cm cube of hydrochloric. So this is the last portion of it. Alright, I finished preparing.